Well, firefighters typically use the jaws of life to save people trapped in cars, but this past weekend, something many had never seen before. These massive blades used to free a toddler from a grocery store car. It was supposed to be a quick five minute shopping trip and so i was like oh you don't need your seatbelt we're just going to be in and out this past weekend mom virginia moore says she was inside the ray farms harris teeter in south charlotte her three-year-old helping to steer a car just like this one when what was supposed to be a quick trip to the grocery store turned into a lesson that will last a lifetime i turn around for maybe all of like a second and she has somehow wedged herself underneath the race car seat. Moore admits her daughter was not yeah. buckled in. And so when she bent down, this knee got jammed underneath the green seat. Moore says Harris Teeter employees first tried disassembling the cart with tools. But when that didn't work, firefighters answered the call, cutting the three-year-old out of the cart with the jaws of life. Moore says the true hero is a stranger who stopped to help, spending more than 20 minutes occupying the toddler's attention while rescue crews worked to free her. Had it not been for her, I think she would. I think Emerson would have been hysterical. But Moore says the woman left before she could properly thank her. And so you just want her to know. I'm just grateful. She was so kind and that it was really appreciated. And Emerson, she kept her so calm. Moore says a Harris Teeter employee also gave her daughter a toy. Overcome with gratitude, she's now sharing her story, hoping to save other moms from making the same mistake. They do have a seat belt on those shopping carts for a reason, so make sure that I use them. Reporting in South Charlotte, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte.